Hi, it's Gina. Tell me your story. So, I'm coming on today to give you a what if situation. So, I had said on my earlier post, what if we could all skip the small talk and get straight to the big talk? Get to the real issues in life, you know? Get to really know somebody how they feel inside if we didn't have anything to hide or lose or if we weren't afraid what everybody else would think what would we say how would we answer it's a fascinating concept to me because I think that when we speak to people even family that we think that we know like the back of our hand I think we answer more along the lines of what they want to hear than what we how we really feel. I really believe that. If you know me for five minutes, you know me. I wear my heart on my sleeves. In fact, that's one of my downfalls. I am too open, too honest, um, to a fault. Um, that is my issue that I work on, but I feel that people should be more open and honest more forthright with their emotions, their feelings. You know, a lot of people do not agree with me. And I want to know what you guys think. If we could skip small talk and get straight to the big talk, the real deal, what would you ask? And if somebody asked you tough questions or simple every day, you know, about religion, racism, abortion, politics, life, finances. Why are we so afraid to say what's really on our mind? We like to be put, we like to stay in the box. Um, we like to say what we think everyone wants to hear. That's my opinion. I'm speaking for myself. For years, I did that. I cared what other people thought. I was a people pleaser. I needed and wanted to be liked. So I said what they, I thought they wanted to hear, not how I really felt. So this concept uh, fascinates me. So I guess if you could skip the small talk and get right to the big talk, what would you ask? What would you want to know? Think about it. Think about that and get back to me. Make me some posts. Leave me some comments. Also, I had my last video on communication um, in relationships, marriage. Uh, we discussed how the communication gap, the barrier, is number one problem in, in any relationship. I believe communication skills are so lacking in marriages today. Why don't we know how to communicate? Why are we... So, and this has ties in with the small talk, big talk. Why are we so afraid to say how we feel? To tell somebody we love, that hurt my feelings. Or, I don't agree with you. We're so afraid to say how we really feel sometimes, and that baffles me. And um, I guess I, I'm curious as to what you guys think. So... I got some gentlemen to volunteer for me to pick their brain. If you recall last time, I said any gentlemen that wanted to talk about relationship marriages and answer some tough questions, come forward. Well, I have a few guys that are gladly, they were actually excited about it. So stay tuned. I will have that interview um, coming up real soon. I was gonna do it live, but um, I don't know what's gonna come out of their mouths, so. Uh, safe for safety uh, precautions, I'm going to record it and edit it. And uh, I'm going to show you guys. Yeah, I know that's kind of um, hypocritical since I'm talking about real, real talk, big talk. But um, we got to keep it clean on here. So, all right, guys, that's my uh, two cents for today. What if we could skip the small talk? What would you want to know?
say you're single, my single friends out there, what would you want to know? What would you ask somebody if we could skip all the small talk and get right to the big talk? What are the questions that you would ask? Okay, uh, coming up is the, uh, the guy's interview, and uh, I'll see you soon. Peace and love. Ciao.